everybody and welcome back to my channel. It has been kind of a minute since I've made a video. I've been taking a break for about a month, but it is great to be back out here traveling with my love over here. Oh, hi. And this is a very special trip because it is for my 28th birthday, which is in a few days. Uh, we are spending a few days here in Rapid City, South Dakota, aka state number 41 so i am getting so so close to having visited all 50 states but yeah i you know south dakota is one of those states i never really thought i'd visit because you think what is there to do here but there's actually what seems to be quite a bit here in rapid city which i think is the second biggest city in south dakota behind sioux falls so um if you're not familiar, Rapid City is near Mount Rushmore, it's near Badlands National Park, it's near Wind Cave National Park. So that's kind of the main things we're going to do, lots of national park stuff. And uh, in a few days we are going to do the four hour drive to Medora, North Dakota to go to Theodore Roosevelt National Park and cross off state number 42. So it's going to be quite the adventure. Uh, we just got off our plane. The size of the Rapid City Airport is just comical. Uh, there were only seven gates, but I loved it because it made everything so much easier. And it looks like a DMV too. <laughs> Chris thinks it looks like a DMV, which I can kind of see. Um, got our rental car. So the first thing we're going to do is eat because we've been traveling all day and we are so hungry. Uh, we're going to stop by this cute little place I found online called Bumpin' Buffalo, I think. And it's near Mount Rushmore, which is the first attraction we we're going to do. Um, Today is going to be kind of a chill day since we've been traveling a lot, uh, but we're going to do whatever we can do today and then do the rest the rest of this week. So follow along with us. Okay, we just made it to Bump and Buffalo. We're in this cute little town near Mount Rushmore. I forgot, oh, Hill City is what it's called. And being from Kentucky, I'm getting Gatlinburg, Tennessee vibes very much. Uh, and fun fact, we're on Elm Street, so watch out for Freddy. Oh no, I guess I won't sleep tonight. This is so cute. I just love little towns like this that are so charming and have kind of a theme going on but we are starving so food is the first thing on our minds right now and there we are bumpin buffalo so we are here at the bumpin buffalo this has got a fancy little wine it's funny because they thought it was mine at first but uh, <laughs> chris likes his his wine as well it's a really cute restaurant right now. It's got like very much Western feel. It's a cute little guy up here with his cowboy hat on. While we were waiting for, oh, we also ordered buffalo burgers. Apparently that's, I think, a big thing here. You can get buffalo meat as a burger. So we're excited to try that. I've had bison, which is pretty good, but uh, we'll see how the buffalo does for us. Yeah, we, we both got the same thing, except I added jalapenos on mine. Yes, like you always do. <laughs> so, what are you most excited for on this trip? So today, I am excited that we're going to go to Mount Rushmore, which is five miles away from where we are right now. Yeah, we're super close, so that's the next thing we're going to do. We might. I kind of want to walk around a little bit out here. Yeah, we could check out some of the stores real quick. Yeah, this Hill City town is really cute, so we're excited to see what else is around here. Okie dokie, we got our buffalo burgers. They are looking pretty tasty. Chris is going to try it out for us. Let's see how good it is. And what do you think? It's pretty good. It tastes like a 
regular burger, like always. It looks delicious. So. We are gonna eat and then go explore some more. Okay, we are all done with our buffalo burgers. Thumpin' Buffalo, pretty good if you need a good restaurant recommendation. Uh, Hill City is a great place to start if you're going to Mount Rushmore because I don't think there are restaurants there. So this would be the closest to that. Um, so now we're just kind of checking out this little town because it's super cute. Um, it's the very end of April and we've noticed a lot of the stores are still closed saying they're closed for the season. So I'm assuming they're gonna open back up soon. Uh, the signs were saying like see you in spring, so kind of crazy they haven't opened up just yet. We're gonna see all there is to see out here. You should also note it could take about a thousand steps, or not even that, like 500 steps, and you're you've been through this whole strip. Look at those houses over there. There's really houses, nice. really cute houses. An elementary school just right here in the middle. <laughs> Out of nowhere. Yeah. It is dead here right now. It's kind of eerie. But also kind of chill. Loving the chill vibes. There's lots of gift shops, art galleries, big old Harley Davidson. Really cute stores, especially if you're in need of some souvenirs for around here. I love that. Well, this is a cute little area. You can get through it really quick, especially at a time like now where a lot of the stores aren't even open, but it's very nice. Well, we are here about to cross off a huge bucket list item. We made it to Mount Rushmore. We've already seen it and it actually, everybody says, you know, it looks so small and it's way smaller than you think. It still looks kind of big when you're actually here. I don't know, it looks a little small for some reason. Yeah, I guess it depends on, I don't know, your uh, preconceived notions of it, but it looks so cool it's just one of those really awesome things to see in real life uh, and this whole area is so pretty the black hills national forest it's gorgeous out here we have made it to the one and only mount rushmore i love this setup love all the state flags i see kentucky's where's it at our blue commonwealth flag over there I almost forgot what it looks like. Yeah, it's that blue one with like the circle. Oh, and yeah. And the two no, guys shaking hands. I see it now. Wow, this is amazing. Do you have any first thoughts? I, <laughs> I just can't believe we're here and how high this place is when you look the other way. I know, I'll have to show you on the camera what it looks like on the other side, but we are very high up right now. And I actually didn't even realize that Mount Rushmore was this highly elevated. So uh, that's a little fun fact there. I just noticed down there, there's a little amphitheater. So I'm thinking maybe they do some shows or concerts, I don't know. They probably do some plays about American history. That would make sense, yeah. Could you just imagine though, watching a play about American history and then just looking right up and it's right there. Not to mention it is the perfect day outside today. There was actually, we saw a little bit of snow on our drive up this mountain and we were kind of like, oh gosh, like maybe it's even colder up here. We only saw one section of it, and that was it. Yes, so hopefully that snow is gone for the rest of the strip, at least. And this is exactly what I was talking about. Just this random chunk of snow right here. But nowhere else. <laughs> Behold. Snow. 
I don't want it. It's almost May. <laughs> it can leave. So they do have a little trail here called the Presidential Trail. I think it's just like a, a super short loop. But we're gonna find that and walk around and just see what else there is around this little area. Okay, I think we may have found an even better photo spot, especially away from all of the people. <laughs> so if you walk down these stairs where the main entrance is and you see this little open house thing, right here, even better spot. Super quiet, very chill. There's a couple other things down here too, like a sculpture studio, I think. Just lots and lots of beautiful nature. And me. And you. <laughs> <laughs> so, you can hear that I'm out of breath. <laughs> As you can Look. see here, there are a lot of steps in this trail, so you have been warned. But it is worth it for the awesome views. And here we are on this side. You can see all the way out there how high up we are. It's just amazing. South Dakota really is such a beautiful state. And we've only been here for a few hours. And here is the closest view you can get from the President's Trail, or the Presidential Trail. You definitely have to do this trail if you're able to climb all the stairs, but oh my gosh, it gives you so many more amazing views. Um, but if you can't, the one right over there when you enter is just as great. But this is definitely a great bucket list item that we've crossed off, hasn't it? It sure is. I thought I would be underwhelmed based off of what some people have said, but I have to disagree. I mean, this is, it's amazing. And here is the view to your other side of Mount Rushmore. It's very mountainy over here, very flat over there, but definitely reminds you how big of a state South Dakota is very wide and open and just very cool to see from all the way up here. Well, we have done all that there is to do at Mount Rushmore. We are tired. We have been up since 4 a.m. So we are gonna go check into our hotel and take a nap. We are staying at the Hotel Alex Johnson in downtown Rapid City, which seems like uh, a very cute, popular hotel to stay at. So I'm excited to go check it out and just take a nap too. There it is, our hotel right there. The Hotel Alex Johnson. It's really cute. This little downtown area is so tiny, but it's going to make it very easy for us to explore and walk to pretty much anything down here. <laughs> We have made it to our hotel room and we have taken a fantastic nap. So we are ready to go just a little bit more this evening. We're watching Monsters University in the background. Such a classic. And this is our cute little room. Yeah, it's really nice. It is. You have a nice little view of downtown. You can see the Black Hills over there. Very small downtown, but it makes it so easy to access pretty much everything. We have this really nice long hallway. I almost feel like I'm in an apartment. Am I the only person who loves getting a corner room just because of that? And I feel like they're way more private anyway. And really cute bathroom. And the downstairs lobby is so nice it's very historic looking uh and just really cute overall it has a starbucks connected and a pub too like an irish pub and an irish pub and a place called chubby chipmunks chocolate something so lots of stuff just in the hotel but uh we're about to walk over to an arcade bar called press start it's actually just like a block down 
So yeah, I'm really excited for that. We always try to find an arcade bar wherever we go because we're just huge nerds and we love to play video games. And those are always just a great time. Um, and I just love, I already looked at the menu of this place. They have themed food and drinks based off of video game characters. So that just draws me in even more. So that's what we're headed to right now. Sparkly it is. It's like Zelda's dress color. Yeah, Try okay. it, see how it is. You got the Zelda's potion. It's very sparkly and pretty. That's so good. <laughs> this will get me ready for Tears of the Kingdom coming out in a couple weeks. Yes, it will. And I got the Koopa's Coco Melon, which is very tropical. Uh, I got some melon, pineapple, rum. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Okay, one thing I love is that you can exchange tickets for drinks or drink related games or items. So uh, that's fun. Also, I gotta recommend these epic nachos here. Holy crap, these things are huge. Okay, we're gonna check out all the games this place has to offer now. First, we're going to the retro dungeon, and it literally feels like a dungeon with all these lights. Don't they have the old games. Yes. Oh, here we go. This is what I'm talking about. We have gotten our tokens, and you know what we're gonna do first. Mario Sim Kart. Mario Kart. Who do you think's gonna win? Me. Um, Bravo. I think I will like I normally do with this. You better watch out, Christopher, or I'm gonna get you that blue shell. A day it has been. It's been a very successful day getting in here uh, at Grand. Or, ugh, I'm so tired. I can't even talk straight or know where I am at uh, Rapid City and kind of getting a feel for everything, seeing Mount Rushmore, and then just checking out the town. But we are exhausted, so we're gonna call it a night. Um, sorry if this vlog was not as exciting as. It, as other ones have been but uh yeah today was just kind of a chill day and i'm so glad we did that because we've just had a long travel day on top of just go go going right after that so it's nice to just pause right now and not do too much tomorrow we are headed to badlands national park and checking out uh, a few other things around the city so stay tuned for that but anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you on the next adventure. Bye!